Now that we have ensured that our data is appropriate for analysis, let's invoke the fit model platform and let's set up our factorial analysis of variance with these three factors. Like usual, we'll start by putting time to campus on the Y, and I'll immediately change our emphasis to be minimal report, just so we can produce only the output we really want to see. Next, we'll designate under the model effects section, the model that includes our three factors. Now I showed you before that we can do this manually by adding each of our model terms. So I'll add each three here. We could form the crosses ourselves. So day of week by route would be that first two way interaction. Day of week by time of day would be the second two way interaction. And then route by time of day would be the third two way interaction. Then, to form the three-way interaction, we would take one of our two-way interactions, and this is new, I would click the other factor in the left columns and click cross to form the three-way interaction. This is the full model, but that's a pretty slow way of actually developing our model effects. And so like I showed you before, we can actually use under macros the full factorial option. So what we'll do for this is first select all three of our factors, then go to macros and select full factorial. Jump will immediately create all the model terms for us, but I want to point something out. The algorithm Jump uses to construct the model effects with that macro goes like this. First, pick a first effect, then a second, and then immediately cross those two effects to form the two-way interaction. Then we take the third effect and then cross that effect with the previous. Then we form the other two-way interaction, then the three-way interaction. Now this is fine, this will be the same model no matter how we put in these terms, but my preference is to not set it up this way. Let me show you what I like to do. I like to put all three factors using the macros factorial sorted. What factorial sorted will do is put first the main effects, so this is what I did when I set this up manually. So first day of week, route, and time of day. Then the second order effects, so day of week by route, day of week by time of day, and then route by time of day. And then finally, the three-way interaction. I find the output to be more interpretable using the macros factorial sorted. So it would be my recommendation to use that, especially once we get to larger models. It's much nicer to look at all your main effects first, second order effects, and then the highest order effects. It's actually up to you either way. Full factorial and factorial sorted produce the same model terms, and the analysis will not differ. Regardless of which way you enter these terms, you'll get the same overall effect test.